I was going to demo a do-it-yourself vault in Sanctuary, but actually, I want to start at the beginning. Let me show you exactly what I was trying to build. In the days of yore, I created this vault beneath Springvale because it's an easily acquired location where it almost makes sense. I can just drop in a manhole entrance to an awesome private vault. The only immersion challenge is believing that no one looked under that manhole for 200 years. Do you recognize that panel from Vault 101? The feature list includes a bed near the door for easy access, the workbench, the American flag on the wall, these labeled radio stations. I thought about trying to play the radio station through the entire vault until I realized that you could accomplish the exact same effect by just using your Pip-Boy. I've got to add the diner in the kitchen. The vault has four jail cells because I wanted it to have jail cells. Those cells shouldn't come as a surprise given that there are stasis cells in the atrium. But that's not even the darkest part. I'll have to open the Overseer's Tunnel for that. Do you like these cave rocks? I thought they were a nice touch. Here's my dungeon. Every secret base needs a creepy dungeon with cells and cages. Here's the exit tunnel. Bam! Secret panel! That is what I had set out to make. The Build Your Own Vault mod is very well done, and I had a lot of fun using it. At one point, I'd actually combined the mod with the Vault Tech DLC. While I recommend both to anyone that likes sediment building, I just wanted too much control over little details. There was also one recurring and particularly annoying bug in which the kit would snap into place, but would not turn green. I was never able to fix this, and it kept forcing me to change my plans and build what I wanted someplace else. Then there were these detail pieces that would not snap anywhere and only turned green when it made no sense. I kept building for a little while with whatever cool stuff I could find. I eventually decided that the best way to do this would be to start over again in the creation kit. If you've never used it before, the creation kit is a lot more complicated than the settlement system in Fallout 4. You should also be aware that this method is not without its own pitfalls, some of which are more confusing than others. Nevertheless, I am finally ready to show off my result. I chose the Red Rocket truck stop for the same reason that I chose Springvale. Your Red Rocket might look a little bit more crowded than mine, since I scrapped absolutely everything that you possibly can. You'll find a manhole cover right here, next to a little blue car that you can scrap. You can easily reach it without walking after you fast traveled here. I'm mostly happy with the access tunnel. I really like using excessive doors. I know that the vault entrance is a bit abrupt, but I didn't want someone to walk down this crazy staircase and then have to cross a huge and empty room. And I know everyone is just going to jump over the railing, anyway. Making this in Fallout 4 is slightly more immersive since no one could open the vault door without a functional Pip-Boy.
that's my not-so-secret exit. It just didn't seem as important to me this time around. The bed is now turned inward toward the vault, which makes more sense anyway. The crafting stations are all linked to the workbench, which actually uses the inventory from the Red Rocket workbench. The workbench at Red Rocket and down in the vault will always have the exact same items. I'll be entering the cell block a different way this time. Anyone think I'll win that pie? Porta Diner. May the odds be never in your favor. Without requiring the Vault-Tec DLC, there is no round Overseer's Desk. There's actually a metal sheet inside these walls that's only visible from one side. So the Overseer can look out into the Vault, but no one can see into the Overseer's office. I'll show you the normal cells before I show you the special cells. Each of the cells has a zero privacy shower, and the cells are mirror images of each other, at least with respect to plumbing. It's a copy of a real-world engineering trick that saves pipes by commenting the plumbed wall. Although the cryopods open and close, you cannot fit inside them. Sorry. Although that is kind of strange, since you fit into these institute showers. And as for the memory loungers, well... It just works. You know that there's still one more thing to see. By the time I had fixed out the room to accommodate the four cells, there was enough room left on the far wall for ten cages, which are now fully functional as well. I'll exit the vault through the tunnel. That's the mod. Please don't forget to like the video to encourage my YouTubing, leave a comment to help me decide what to do next, and subscribe to find out when I make the next video. Later!